Hello everyone and welcome back to Oceanside Roleplay. We're getting in here with, I'm clicked out, Mr. Thompson. Mr. Forgets who he is, where he's from. We're going to cause a little trouble today. We're going we're to walk around and get ourselves maybe in some trouble, maybe not. Who knows? We'll, we'll just see how it goes. Mr. Thompson bought a new car. There's no gang members out. What we're going to do is we're going to do this. Nope. We're going to try this and see if it works. Such so Enoch. Hello? Linda, are you in there? Linda? Oh, Linda? Linda? We're sorry, the number dialed is not in service. Please check the number or try your call again. This is a recording. We're going to do that. Linda, I know you're in there with him. Come out. Oh, never mind. We'll give the police a chance to come over this way and uh, do some things. bush caught me. That bush got almost got me. And we'll see. I don't know how this is all going to work. But we'll come in and do this and just have a little fun. Let me look at the inside of this. This thing is nice. Tops, I wonder what this tops out at. Oh, I hit the fox. Oh, my little fox. Kick up the speed a little bit. I don't see anybody. We'll go knock at the. We'll go look at the sheriff station. Maybe somebody's there. There is seen her. It's pouring. Yeah, hello.
I'm looking for my wife. I, I haven't seen her in I don't know how long. She, she hasn't come home. Forget my walk style. Made a report for it yet, sir? Forget my walking style. Oh, uh, no, they keep telling me that I can't make a report. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, and I know. That's what LSPD keeps telling me. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Hello. Well, you were here first. I'll let you talk to them. supposed to be doing an application or interview with you to be a deputy. Alright. Give me just one moment then. Let me see what this guy needs. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Yep. Uh, so, I'm looking for my wife, Linda. Alright, just a moment. I, I haven't seen her in I don't know how long. Has she been missing? Well, yeah, I haven't seen her. How long ago did she go missing? It's been at least a month, month and a half. Okay. And where was she last seen? Do you know? She was at the house. I'm sorry, what was that? She she was at my house. Okay. Give me that. Can, can you see if she's been arrested? Alright, what's her what's her name? Well, Linda Thompson. Linda Thompson, alright. Let me check our records real quick and I'll let yeah, you know. Yeah, it's T H O M A S O N. Okay. This isn't good. I'm afraid if I sit, I might lose my walk style. But we will be right back with what he has to say. What was that? I, I said I've got some news for you. So, I, I don't know if you don't remember, but your wife's been, has passed away back in 96. What? That can't be right. That's what our local records are saying, sir. Oh no, this isn't good. That's a wall. No. That, that's not my car. This is my car. No! And we're off. We'll see what they have to do. Dude, this little car's nice. This little, this little car is nice. I gotta say, I love it. Uh, I don't know what they're doing over there. <clears throat> I 
And because we have dementia, we're just going to stop and grab something to eat. Hoping I'm doing this right. Such so an sit chair. And it looks kind of legit. Eh, kind of legit. Slash do. Now. Now we can do it this way. That's, that's the thing. We will be back when something happens. All right, we are back and at this. So this is what we're doing right here. Um, doing another 911 call. I want to get back out on the road here. I'm just leaving a trail. Of places that we've been. And then the next call we're going to make is going to be from the Golden and Forgotten Funeral uh, Nursing Home. Actually, let's place that call now. So we'll come down to my house that I always use for everything. Down here at 711.
Hold on, guys. We'll be right back. All right. We are back. And my controller's not working. There it goes. There we go. All right. We are back, and we are at it. We just got a cup of coffee at the 24-7. We used a milk jug to put creamer in our coffee and walked out without paying for it because they don't have any condiments for the milk, the coffee. We're still out driving around. Oh, shit. Hold on. I didn't think. 648 at the 24-7. I don't know how to do the car reply thing, so... We'll just do it that one. So we're just gonna drive around and just see. We're out here, we're just doing our thing. I really want to test this car out. So yeah, we, we got ourselves a burger there and fries didn't pay for it, walked out, but concerned. Storms, man. I, I've never liked them. I'm gonna pass this van up. I'm gonna go out to the U tool and see if maybe anybody at the U tool saw Linda. We're, we're gonna go see.
we have back. We did another. We're gonna see if we can find the cop that was driving around. Anything? They have my plate. I'm already reported missing from the the, the funeral home. Just drive around with the high beams on. And we'll see what happens. I think we have one coming. There you go, buddy. Do that. Scott with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm having a conversation with you right now is because we've gotten a call from a couple of different businesses. They're a little concerned about you. What was that truck doing? That tr okay! Are, are you looking for someone currently? Yeah, I'm looking for my wife! Okay. Well, your, your wife passed away many years ago. You, you're lying to me! No, sir, I can show you... I can't show you the death records, I don't have access to them. But in our MDT, she's coming up as she passed away in 96. Well, why are you lying it's to me? No, it's currently 2023. So, we're... Do you just... Have you been diagnosed with Alzheimer's or dementia or anything like that? I can't remember. You can't remember? Okay. Alright. Would you be opposed to having medics come out and check you out? Uh, well, for what? See, Liz, she's, she's still alive. Listen. opposed to medics coming and checking you out because I don't feel like you're in the right state of mind to be driving right now. You're... Where where do you live? I live in a funeral uh, nursing home. My son put me in there. See, listen, here's a voicemail. She's still alive. Her phone wouldn't have a voicemail. I don't know no, why no, you're lying to me. Actually works, sir. You could still pay for the line to be open, even if that person is no longer alive. Why, why are you pulling me over? Well, I'm pulling you over because we've had some, uh, quite a few people concerned about your health. Oh. And so not to mention the, uh, 24-7 called us about, uh, you grabbed some milk for your coffee. And you didn't pay for it. I paid for my coffee. Yes. But they didn't have condiments, so they had milk in the thing and I used the milk. 
you mind if I just talk to you, sir? I'll introduce myself to you. I'm Sergeant Miranda with the Los Santos Police Department, okay? Okay! Obviously, I, I understand that a lot is confusing to you. You very well believe that your wife is still around. That's unfortunately not the case. We are not lying to you, sir. But then why would her phone ring? Because her phone still has her number on it, connected to her. But that doesn't mean that she is not around, which she unfortunately is not, sir. Well, that just seems a little weird. Her phone would be ringing. Well, do you still have her phone in your vehicle? It shouldn't be in my vehicle. She has it. I don't think she has it because it also sounded like when you called her, it was ringing from your vehicle. Uh, definitely not in my car. Yeah, I'll call it again. I'll prove to you. You mind if I, uh... Leave the phone. Your phone's under the seat. If you look under the seat of your passenger, under your passenger seat, I bet you'll find that phone. Uh, I don't know. Why don't you just look under there? I, I'm sure you'll find it. Whoa! What the hell is that? That's not Mayan! That's not Mayan! No! Somebody's killing me! Save me! These guys are trying to kill me! These guys are trying to kill me! I don't think they are, actually, but what's going on today? They're trying to kill me! Okay, let's hop on over uh, off the road here. I don't want to I am off the road. I know, but a little bit more. Go over to the uh, side of my vehicle over there. Do you have an umbrella in the back of this thing? Uh, you know what? It's a brand new car. It may have one. Oh, look, it came with one. Thank you! Alright. I don't know where that is. It's not. They're this, trying to um, kill me. Nice gentleman here was called in by a couple concerned citizens <laughs> about his well being. Yeah, oh, claiming man. that he's looking for his wife, however, his wife is no longer with us, unfortunately. And, Stop uh, saying that! And that to him, but he did not want to believe Response what we were saying. Okay. We then proceeded to call the phone, uh, it rang under the passenger seat, I told him to look under the passenger seat because that's where he'll locate the phone. He then pulled out a gun and a phone, and that's when he took off running. Yelling, it's not mine. Which I assume he's referring to the firearm. At least I hope that's what he was referring to, not the phone. Sir, with uh, with your consent, do you mind if I take that firearm out of your vehicle? Go ahead. For your safety and for ours. Go ahead. doing here I, I don't think you right now sir I don't know where I'm at who are you well I'm uh, under Sheriff Fowler with the uh, sheriff's office did What's you just name? see your underwear Fowler I'm under Sheriff oh oh my, my name's George Hi, George. Yeah, today. Gonna I'm good where are we uh, we're out in the uh, county here, up in, uh, you know, just uh, by the sheriff's office. Where do you think we are? No, I can't remember. Okay. 
You said George, right? Yeah. Do you know what my wife Linda is? I, you know what? I don't. I don't know. I don't know your wife Linda. Do you know where you live, George? Uh, yeah, James. Bye. George? Right, I just got a call from the gone and forgotten nursing home. They're, they said that they're missing an individual. Described what he looks like. Actually described him to a T. Said his name was George. Uh, says that he missed his meds and that it results in him losing. What did uh, you memory. say? George, do you live in a in a in a place with a lot of other people? Do you remember that? What? I live in there? my house with. Yeah, I guess other people are there. Okay. Well, sounds like we probably need to get you back to your home. It's kind of getting kind of wet out here. No, I'm not getting wet. I have an umbrella. Well, yeah, I mean, although I don't know where it came from. Well, we'll get you. We'll get you home. I think we are. Uh, we're tracking things down here yeah they want him transported to the hospital for an evaluation that is, uh, who's taking care of that uh, I can okay alright man would you be alright I'm gonna try that again would you be willing to take a ride with me down to the hospital they just want to uh, check you out I don't, I don't know why Wait, there, where are we there. again? Oh, I'm Sergeant Scott. No, hello, Sergeant Scott. That's a lot of Fords. If we can do for tomorrow. You, you said you want a what? I want to take you down to the hospital so they can check you out. Oh, for what? Did I was I involved in an accident? No. Uh, is that why everyone is here? No. We got a call that you're missing from a home, and they want you to go yeah. to the hospital, make sure you're okay, considering you've been out here in the rain and all that. Yes, I have a home. Yeah. But we want to take you to the hospital so they can make sure you're okay to return back home. If, if you're going to make me, yes. What? Did, did, you, did you find my wife? She's she's no, missing. Sir, we found her phone. She's not missing, sir. Oh, good. That means she's at home. I can go she's home to her. Home, <laughs> what, what do you mean she's not at home? So let's get you all set up in the car. Did we? Uh, you don't got any weapons on you or anything, right? No, I I, I don't. Okay, let's get you all searched up, and we'll get you in the car, we'll get you off to the, uh, to the hospital, we'll get you checked out, make sure everything's okay. Okay. Here's your umbrella back. Well, I appreciate that. There you go. All right, I'll go get in my car. Not in your car there, George. Nope, nope, it's, uh, sorry. Over here, George. Help what? I'm gonna take you to the hospital. Your car is gonna be towed. I just don't feel safe letting you drive off in the way that you are right now. I want to take you to the hospital so you know you're. We know that you're okay. I, if I, I wouldn't feel safe if I let you drive away and you got into an accident, you know, later. These guys love this guy. Uh, I would feel bad on me. Uh, okay. Can I drive your car? Uh, no. No. Uh -oh. uh, I'm sorry. It's apartment liability. <laughs> I only crash it once. Oh, that. That's, we just got them, and I really don't want to crash them. Do you have a Vic I can drive? Uh, no, sir. Those no. have been worked out. I think we gave out, I think, one left in the fleet, but no. Oh, can I drive it? No. Oh. Uh, we gotta take you to the hospital. Why are we here again? Uh, just, just follow They're me, They're gonna sir. explain that uh, okay. at the hospital. Hop in the passenger seat of this, uh, Explorer. Okay. 
Wrong nope. explorer, sir. Wrong one. I'm in the explorer. What? What do you mean, wrong one? That's okay, <laughs> sir. Go ahead and step back. Alright, you, you, you got him. Yep. Remember, I was standing right, next I'll, to this I'll one when he said it. Though. Hey, Zach, on my hood, grab it. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's a gun on your hood. I know, sir. That, that wasn't very safe to leave there. It's yours, sir. I don't. What do you mean, mine? I just registered it to you, sir. It's your firearm that you had in your vehicle. We grabbed it for you so you wouldn't forget it. Oh, okay. What's your name again? I'm Sergeant Miranda with the Los Angeles Police Department, sir. Oh, okay. Damn, you almost hit him. Nope. What do these buttons do? Eat in the uh, bug here. Go on. What, what do these buttons do here? Sir, can you please not hit the buttons? But I like hitting the buttons. Alright, sir. He's nice. <laughs> fine. <laughs> what did he do? I like these buttons. Although they don't do anything. Stop hitting the buttons. Stop out of the car. Presses orange button on the radio. What did that button do? No. Oh. Where are we? Sir, stop. Why are you yelling at me? Sir, you're pushing buttons and I told you not to push buttons, okay? Uh, okay, don't Sorry, don't yell at me. Fine, I'll step out. You're the worst Uber driver ever. Yeah, well, write me five stars on Yelp. You're getting one star. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Me. That's one star is too many. Over here, look. Your wife is at the hospital, sir. <laughs> there! I'm rating you one star. You're the worst Uber ever. <laughs> Wait, you said my wife's in here? I think they said something about they have records of your wife being here. So oh, yay! Alright, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode. We will see you next time.